Pre-rape essence slot gearing is easier than ever, and if you put in a few hours of work after hitting 85, you can easily be ready to head into heroic rating in less than one day. To showcase how doable this is, I took my Paladin, which I leveled solely through Halls of Lightning, all the way from level 80 to 85. That meant once I reached 85, I had not gotten any reputation through questing, except to get to friendly with Guardians of Hydral for the Tabard, and I had an item level of 272 when I reached 85, a far cry from the 329 item level required to queue for heroic dungeons. Most people will probably have a bit better of a starting point than I did, but I had some other advantages when it comes to gearing up, which we'll get into a little bit later. But with that out of the way, let me show you how I went from this to heroic raid ready in just a few hours. After hitting 85, the first thing I did was log onto my warrior to send over my binding account archaeology shield. If you did any digging during the pre-patch for your bits weapons, chances are you got this shield along the way. If you're not sweaty enough to do archaeology for gear, however, the buy non equipped shields are very inexpensive and the 346 justice point shield costs very little if you have some spare justice points from Wrath of the Lich King or if you leveled up through Cataclysm Dungeons. The next step for me was to check the auction house for buy non equipped items that are either pre raid best in slot or items I would not look to actively replace before heading into raid. With how frequently epics drop from trash in Bastion of Twilight and the cost of crafting materials being close to nothing, picking up at least a few items should be attainable for everyone, even if you're not sitting on a ton of gold. I picked up a Soul Blade for 3.7k, Valor Point Boots for 2.9k, Jewel Crafting Ring for 1.5k, and I was feeling done there, but I ended up caving by going back to pick up a pair of Heaving Plates of Protection for 5.3k. If I wanted to take things a bit more slowly, I would skip the ring and the boots as there are other alternatives to get with a bit more of a time investment. But getting in the additional item level boost right away was quite nice in order to be able to head into rogue dungeons right away. I'll link a list of all the 359 BOEs available and you can check your server's auction house whether or not it's worth the investment. Gold is very easy to come by in Cataclysm by just simply playing the game, so I wouldn't worry too much about spending a large portion of reserve on some pre biz binding equipped items. After that, I realized I had some spare honor from last expansion, so I used that to buy a relic from the PvP vendor. At that point, I decided to level up my professions. This is something that everyone has to do sooner or later, so I decided that sooner was the right thing for me for a few reasons. I already had engineering and jewel crafting at a decent level from Wrath of the Lich King, so I didn't have to spend more than like a thousand gold scaling both the professions up. From both engineering and jewel crafting, I got myself a few upgrades. But the real reason I wanted to get them up now was so that once I got my first Chaos Orb, I could instantly craft the 359 goggles from Engineering. I also wanted to get to 500 Jewel Crafting so the quests for the trinkets could start dropping. A little spoiler here, not a single quest ended up dropping during the entire session. So not sure what I did wrong here, because I don't remember them being rare at all. Perhaps someone can comment down below on the best way to get them. After getting all that sorted, I still had about half of my gear being old ICC gear, so it was time to get back to the auction house to pick up some more gear to pump up the item level. A ton of gear that people use to skill up their blacksmithing, leatherworking and tailoring with is incredibly cheap, so this was absolutely no big deal. But of course, if you level up through questing, you should have enough item level already, and this would be the point where you would go out to pick up some 333 and 346 item level pieces from the reputation vendors. But all of that put us at item level 337, and despite not being the most optimized gear in the world, it was absolutely good enough to spam heroics at a decent pace. And that's just what I did. Now it was time to slap on the Guardians of Hydra reputation tabard and get to work. With the new Valor Point catch-up system, there is basically no cap on how much Valor Points you can realistically get, as you will have all the items you need before you're running into the cap. So, with 240 valor points per run, my goal at this point was to run as many heroics as possible in order to get my tier 11 chest, gloves and legs, and to get Guardians of Hydro Reputation to exalt that in order to pick up the 359 cloak and waist. A thing to note here as well is that I did all of these random heroics completely solo through the LFG tool with no guildies to help speed up the process. But of course, if you have some good friends who also need some heroic dungeons, then, of course, bring them along for the journey. I ended up getting my Chaos Orb on the second Heroic, so then it was time to craft my Engineering Helmet and put the appropriate stats in it. I could've gone over to my main at this point to mail over a Head Enchant from Earthen Ring Revered, but I was a bit too lazy. After running enough Heroics to buy my first tier piece, I decided to test my luck gambling in Baird and Hold. 
I feel like the chance of getting what you want in a 10-man is so low that you might as well not invest the time to try to find a raid for it. So I joined a 25-man group, and to absolutely no one's surprise, what we needed did not drop. So we picked up the tier piece and started upgrading our gear with items from the Justice Point vendor. After that, it was back to spamming more heroics. I ended up getting lucky by getting my best in slot bracers, but apart from that, it was pretty dry in the drops department. Ideally, you want to queue through the random dungeon system in order to get your 240 Valor. But as I only had about 30 minutes left until it was time to log on to my main for the 25-man raid, I decided to individually queue for one stone core in order to get my hands on the stamina trinket. And luckily, it dropped. My hopes were that we would finish our 25-man raid in 2 hours so that I could go back and finish up the last of my gear on the Paladin. But unfortunately, it was a bit of a fiesta now that we're doing split runs and had people in new roles on new responsibilities. But here's the result of about half a day of play. 351 item level is about what most of our raiders had going into heroic raiding in week 1. And with all but one piece being pretty darn optimized for the prop paladin, I'd be more than happy heading into heroic progression with this gear. Granted, I'm probably not going to be using this character in any of our splits, so I have some time to finish up the last bit of gearing to get to an optimal state. All I really need is 3 dungeons or so to get to Exalted with Guardians of Hydro, and a few more dungeon runs after that to get the tier 11 chest. At that point, there's really not much more that can be done in terms of gearing. If I wanted to play the character a bit more seriously, I would start doing my dailies in Tolbarad to get the Mirror Broken Images, and possibly farm out some more Valor Points for a Ring and Relic. If I wasn't already revered with Earthen Ring and Exalted with Therisane on my other characters, then this would be the time to get that sorted as well. Another thing that you can do which is not as relevant for me as a block tank is to get two pieces of Conquest gear. It is pre-bits for a lot of DPS classes, and getting Conquest is easier than ever with the current rate of Battleground meta, and with Conquest cap being basically non-existent. If I hadn't bought my 359 BOE sword, then this is where I would have gone to pick up a weapon. And that's how you get raid ready in as little time as possible in Cataclysm Phase 1. Now it's just a matter of hopping into raid while praying for some loot. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me in the future, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. I aim to upload at least two videos a week and the support over these last few months really means a lot. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.